Hello, how is it going people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to F1 2021. This is my team career, my career, my team career mode. I think it's my team. Um, so, a little update on what, the last past few videos. I've actually been playing on the control pad. Um, why? Well, I just find the control pads a little bit more accessible. It's quicker to just like boot up, play record put away um i mean bringing my wheel it doesn't take much it's, it probably takes i would say five minutes to set up and five minutes to put away so it's not really a lot of time um but i've kind of enjoyed just playing just having that kind of pick up and play uh sort of feel i have been running automatic gears i will say that um but I don't, at the moment, I'm, I've, I've turned off other stuff. So, if I was going to the, we've done practice one, practice two. Let's just go into the assist. So, I've, I've basically, if you see there, I used to have anti lock brakes on and traction control on. I've actually turned them off. Uh, but as you can see there, I've got automatic gears. I've also turned off pit assist and pit release. Um, so, I'm actually kind of up the difficulty a little bit. Which I kind of like. Uh, I think I'm running on 75. Yeah, 75 uh, AI difficulty as well. I don't really want to turn that up like, you know, 100 and stuff. I'm not that skilled in that department. But yeah, I'm just kind of enjoying, you know, this sort of, as I say, just to pick up and play. So, what is the weather? Qualifying races. Sunny. Oh no, the race is wet conditions. Okay, that could be interesting. Um, I don't know whether maybe we need to set up for if it's going to be. Oh, it looks as if it's going to be wet all the way through. So we may need we may need to change the the setup maybe. So I've actually got all the stuff, all the R&D stuff I've got set to automatic. Probably. I don't know whether I really want to go back in and maybe change that. We do have uh, quite a major upgrade part coming. Is that is that fitted? RD progress. Oh no, there's the estimated time, 5th of July and the 8th. So we've actually quite a big part coming. Wrong button. See, we've actually done not bad. We've kind of steadily been, been putting in the, the performance. But yeah, I've, I've got all that set to um, automatic. I just want to really just play the game. Just drive. Uh, so when can we change that? I think we can change that over... Is the gearbox fitted? Is it the event gearbox? Yeah, that's fitted. Um, I don't know whether I want to change over the engine parts. Maybe should, because we're on, we're on these parts. So two is thirty-six. That's a new, completely new part. I've actually got quite a few new parts. Maybe fit that. Maybe just keep that part on. Fit that. Fit that. But what's the. What's, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Have I beaten the Ocon as well, which is quite, quite interesting. As I say, the difficulty is not super tough. I've got it so that, you know, I've got to drive a little bit. You know, it's not going to be too easy to overtake. I probably could pump up the the AI difficulty a little bit. But, that's right. Oh, oh, I keep doing the wrong, the wrong buttons in this. So let's go to the, the next session. Let's just, let's just go do a, a few laps. So yeah, that's what's kind of happened. Um, 
you know, I'm quite enjoying just playing, as I say, just p pick up and play. Uh, so to get perfect in that, I need to stay within two metres of the line. Do you know what? I might actually do this one. Um, I'm going to drive out. Let's get what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put on the, the, the racing line. I don't need the racing line, but I just want to... I just want to have the... To see where the racing line is, because sometimes you might choose a different sort of... style. I'm going to I'm going to put on the racing line purely f f to get this this stay within two meters. That's in here actually. Uh, dynamic racing line. I'm going to have it full. I really just need to see where, where the line is. I think I had the wrist line there. That man was too slow, you need to find more speed. Make sure to properly utilise your overtake button. Too fixated on the line, so your pace is too slow. Make sure you use your overtake button for maximum power.
Oh, he he can be a small one. It's so. Test over, but I'm afraid we didn't get what we needed. We're gonna have to yeah, run it again. Just, it's, it's just so bad with the recent wind because you really become like a, a, a train. You're nearly out of fuel, almost out of fuel. You need to pit within the next two laps. This lap. Oh, when oh, driving oh. with a pit assist disabled, you'll need to be mindful of your speed when entering the pit lane. If you hit the limiter line too fast, you'll pick up a penalty. Watch the on screen prompts that show your target speed and distance to the limiter line. Still a little bit ropey on the, 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 the pit limit. I'm still. Mm. So. Yeah, it's so much, it's, it's just a lot harder to race with the, the racing line. Um, I find sometimes, I tend to have my own uh, uh, line that, that I do, and it's, I mean, it, yeah, I, I don't usually tend to bother with the racing line. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying just having the controller. I, I will actually do some races with the, the racing wheel. But I don't know, I'm just enjoying, you know, just having that kind of pick up factor, just pick up and play. Car repairs have set us back a little. Because I don't have a, a, a wheel that's permanently set up. You know, I've got to bring it almost like a deck chair. It's the, it's the um, play seat challenge, it's called. And it's, it's, that's basically what it's like, it's like a deck chair. But you can have your wheels and your pedals uh, actually on the unit and you fold it up it's just a, it really is just a folded deck chair with uh, parts added to it the good thing is I can store it away and then I can bring it out when I need it the downside is yeah you've got you've got to spend I say five minutes maybe five te to ten minutes setting it up um, but as I say I've just been enjoying uh, playing it with the controller the only thing that I say I haven't done is, is automatic gears So I don't think we're going to do this, uh, this one. Uh, let's check, actually let's check the set, uh, the setup I've got is, I think it's a, uh, I think this was for, I'm trying to think if this is for the, the Ferrari, the eSports challenge that was on this track. Um, I it actually feels pretty good, I'm not going to lie, I think it's a good setup, and I may just keep it. Wow. Tire pressures. Mm. I'm just actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and get a, see if, I've got some websites that I go into that, that are like setups, set up uh, websites. Because I don't think we have the ability to load a car set up from the web. I don't think we've ever had that sort of element. Uh, excuse me. Right. Oh god, that was good. Right, F1 car setups, let's see what we've got. Oh, hold on. Track. Can I not no, I can't. Um, so a lot of pop-ups in this one, which is kind of annoying. But right, here we go. Track is Austria. Car. 
Um, okay, they've got all. Now the weather's going to be wet, so I'm going to try and see if there's a wet setup. Right, Williams, Mercedes, Ferrari, Williams. The Williams might be actually quite a good setup. Might be kind of close to our car, but I I think we're above uh, Williams. So let's see what they've got. Right, they've got 11, 8. I think we've got 10. 10-6 so yeah, I'm going to try that because if, if it's going to be if it is going to be a wet race then you know the extra downforce might be good transmission differential I think this is a guy's actually got it set up for controller as well yeah joypad which is uh, again it's going to set up for us so they've got 55 and 65 on the throttle adjustment differential. Suspension geometry, they've got 2.5, 1.9 in the rear, and then it's basically that. And suspension 725. So they've got a little bit more in the front suspension. I'm, I'm going to try that out actually. 72. Five um, and two and six in the in the, the ride height. Brakes they've got 157. That's what I've got. Uh, see the tire pressures. They've got the tire pressures down, especially on the front. They've got 22.2 on both. And for the rear tires, I've actually got the 23.5. So we'll keep that. Right, let's save this. There you have good space. Um, Austrian. Austrian. What I'm going to do is I'm going to label this as a wet setup because it kind of is. I like a gap there. GP. And I'll put wet because it kind of is a wet setup. Right, let's have a little sh shot of this, see what it's like. We'll do the same, we'll do the ERS management again. I might actually put the, the race line off because I don't think we're going to... I don't really think it's going to help us, although it is, but... I, I just don't like the racing line as much. I used to I used to have it on pretty much, I wouldn't say all the time, but... Right, let's get that off. I've also been using the T-Cam setup. I don't know how to take the racing line off, it's completely different. Okay, a little bit of an interesting line there, but... Run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. He was actually quite good on the throttle. 
and break. There's three laps of fuel remaining. A little bit early in that corner. That feels good. That last lap was a one seven point eight. Yeah, I quite like it. It feels, it feels nice. A little bit wide there, but... Yeah, that wasn't a good one. <laughs> that corner went real funny. Oh, wide, 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 wide. Yeah, the, the car feels, um, the, the car feels good, it's kind of twitchy at the front a little bit. Ah, I missed that. Um, so I think the suspension on that was, was changed from the front. It actually feels, uh, it feels good. Yeah, I wasn't happy in that corner again, it was a little bit... Oh, it's way too late. Yep. Come in this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, I'm in that corner again. That, that was actually pretty close. So I'm trying to get my, 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 my breaking point to the to the pit entry. Yeah, that setup feels uh, it, it feels okay. The front end is definitely a bit more. Um, I don't know whether it feels a little bit more spongier. I don't know whether I'm happy with the, how it turns in a little bit. Some because I felt I was like, really kind of quite. I would say. I just felt it was diving in a little bit too much. But on the whole, it felt it felt a pretty decent uh, setup. Um, yeah, so that front suspension is actually a little bit firmer. You can actually feel it. I don't know whether to maybe change that down just to five, maybe. Just a little bit softer. I just save that as being. Uh, let's go for Austrian GP wet. I'm going to put soft. I'll put soft suspension. Uh, soft front. So uh, that, that's probably better. Soft front. Um. Just to see if that's any different. Uh, 
Uh, what these tires got? Tire select. Right, we've only got really two. Uh, pretty much. I'll go with these ones. Uh, session info. I need to select that program. Yes. And we'll just drive out. All personnel be aware. Car leaving. So yeah, it feels. Uh, I just felt it's a little bit stiff. So maybe a softer front uh, suspension. Maybe it just. Well, a little bit better turning in. Quite a difficult uh, exit for after that one. I just don't want to bin it on that barrier. Yeah, it feels better. Just that initial turn in in that corner, it just felt a lot better. Yeah, it feels better under braking as well. Ah, oh, wide, wide, wide. Got that last one completely wrong. Okay, test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. Yeah, it feels. I prefer that a little bit softer. I don't think we've got any like, damage to the body, but... Maybe damage to the, the, the tires are a little bit getting, getting worn. Right, I see. Oh, 
on that little shit. Uh, more fuel on it. Maybe then just set a V. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tyre temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. Yep. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Box. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Oh, I'm, you need to just break it that, uh, uh, that sign. Um. Yeah, tyres are forty percent. They're starting to get a little bit kind of funny. You can actually see the wear on the tyre there. If you look at that side, you can actually see that sort of graining. It's quite good. Yeah, you can see it on the top of that one. Ah, so I don't think we've got the two meter line. That the, the racing line for me is probably the hardest one to do. Yeah, we still don't have it. What times have we done? We've so had to spend time hours. repairing the damage to the car. There's a 105. We are 107. I mean, we're, we're kind of in the pace there. You know, we're probably where we, 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 we should be in a sense. Where's Alcon? Right, Alcon's in a 106. Oof, he's a lot faster. To be honest, have we really done a, a really representative time? I think we, I think some of the times have actually been pretty decent. I think a 107 for me is actually, yeah, that is not too bad. Um, I don't know whether I want to put the, the AI down just a little bit, like 70 maybe. I, I don't know. I don't really want to be racing when it's too easy, but I also don't want to be like, you know, And remember, we have set up for um, like a wet race. Oh, there's only one person on the track. Got a good corner that one, you've got to get it just right. I should actually do a, a career mode where we pick one of the teams and we, we you know we can jump. The session has drawn to a close, so let's thought, review our <laughs> top three Hamilton out my... <laughs> and Charles Leclerc. Ooh, and baby. if today's practice is anything okay. to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. So we finish 18. So I mean, we're kind of ballpark figure with our teammate, um, just ahead of the the Haas, the Williams. But Tiffy's just ahead of us, but not by much. 
So, we're kind of ballpark where we really should be. As I say, Ocon is way ahead of us, but that was a good session. A couple of mistakes. Kind of stepped on the gas maybe a little bit too much. So we get some resource points. Development boosts applied. So this is obviously all the stuff that, that, that we've picked up. Team Acclaim. Uh, so we're, we're, we're at 6. Uh, Jack Aitken's at 7. Team's at 9. I think 10 unlocks another uh, sponsor. Which is going to be quite good. But I'm just enjoy I'm actually just enjoying playing the, the, the game. Uh, I'm not really too fussed about being the best of the best in the in, in the world because I know I'm not the greatest uh, driver. As long as you enjoy it, that's the main thing. So there is uh, there's the tires we've got. Uh, so as I say, the, the weekend race is going to be wet. So it's going to be wet conditions. So we've kind of like the setup we've, we've done is, is more of a wet setup. Um, I actually have have I raced on wet conditions with traction control off. I don't know if I did uh, in Canada. It was wet, but I don't know if I was on medium traction control. I mean, if it's wet and we struggle, we may put it on to uh, medium, maybe. Because I was actually starting to race quite well. I feel, wait, in this game, you really need to feather your throttle. And I, f I find with the, the PS5 controller, it's quite good at finding your balance with your throttle. Anyway, that is going to do this video. So the next session is going to be the qualifying and then the race. But as you can see there, the race is wet. And I'm also, I don't know whether I want to go up to um, like 30 odd laps. Uh, uh, excuse me. I think that's a 50% race. I don't know whether I want to do that. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um... I shall probably actually go back to the main menu. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. 18 laps is nice. It's not too... It's not super long. Because I'm going to keep it within the the record time of like 60 minutes on the PlayStation. Um, I mean, a race is probably going to be, what, 40, 40 odd minutes in, in that kind of configuration. So, I don't know. I quite like the 18... I think it's enough it's enough racing to, to, to kind of keep you going but anyway folks hopefully you enjoyed that take care and i'll catch you next time bye